I got inspired to do this video um, because one of my clients and I are talking about his um, office and doing like a lunch and learn. And it kind of just brought me, I, 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 me and my husband own our own business, but and before that I worked for Bally's and I worked for New York Sports Club and I was in the fitness industry, so I really hope that they're not planning, which they didn't, never in my places, um, did they plan like birthday parties and seminars and um, continue education place uh, things to do where they would um, cater in lunches. But it's mostly in, let's say, like corporate industries or in other areas that obviously aren't designated to fitness specifically at a gym. But um, basically, what it, it just got me to think about what I am and what what we teach um, as a whole, a Gary Fitness, all of us, all the trainers that are with us, and me and my husband, um, and what we want to teach everybody out there, and about how fitness quote-unquote, every aspect of fitness, nutrition, cardio, and resistance training, all three of those together can overall improve the quality of your life. Most people come to us for goals, but ultimately it's about improving the quality of your life. But there are other things. So what it got me to think about is what majority of businesses do. Um, having luncheons, having birthday parties, having holiday gifts, um, catering things when they have a speaker come in or when they're doing training for a specific new thing. Maybe let's say like a new program that they have on their computer and they have somebody coming in to teach the staff it. And what do they do? The majority of the time they cater these things with sandwiches that are mostly fake stuff like salami, bologna, all garbage, pizza, pastas. Um, statistics prove that if you eat healthier, every aspect of your life is going to improve. But efficiency in what you do, creativity in your job, creativity in your life um, is something that is guaranteed to happen when you overall are healthier. So to all those managers and business owners out there that are looking to have their staff be more productive and more efficient in their job for them, you're doing a disservice to them by offering them these things. You're more likely to have a more efficient, more creative, more happy employee, staff, partner in your business if you treat them and give them the things that are going to make them better. You're giving them the tools to fuel their brain so that they learn about the programming, but everything inside of their body is going to help their brain function better. So this is statistic proven that if you are eating healthier and then also combined with a good functional style of training, less prone to injury, more flexible, more lean muscle tissue, no matter what your goal is, combined with cardio, which not only cardio helps you burn fat and get to a goal, even if you don't have a fat loss goal, it will also improve the, improve the stamina of your heart. So when you do cardio, especially in an interval um, fashion, uh, your, your heart gets stronger and it can actually pump in more blood, so it needs to work it doesn't need to work as hard, so people that are have a, are stronger, more ca cardiovascularly, can have a, a lower resting heart rate because their heart is stronger. Um, that's a little fun fact for you, totally off the topic. Well, not really off the topic, but um, but basically the whole point of this is to educate the business people out there and everybody out there. I mean, if you want to be better at your job, the first and fo first thing that you do is fuel your body the right way. Fuel your brain. Food is the fuel for everything. Everything inside and for your brain. So start eating healthier. We've done so many videos on how to choose healthy when you eat. You business owners, managers, office managers, if you're looking to cater something, lean, shy away from the pizza and the donuts and all that other stuff and try to find a place that caters more healthy things with vegetables and proteins and, you know, lower fat things. Um, yeah, it is a lot cheaper to buy five pizzas for staff than to get something a little bit healthier, but ultimately you're really, if you really think about it, I mean, it's like you're paying for somebody's sick days 
when they're not even there and ultimately you're making your employees sicker by, by giving them this food and telling them that it's okay and then they think that it's okay to eat like this and I mean it's just like a vicious circle. So if you treat your employees healthier, everything flows better and then hopefully they're hearing this and they take this or you guys are hearing this and you take this to your house to your family and then you become more efficient in everything that you do you're more prone to advancement in a position in a job when you're healthier so if you've always wanted to move up let's just say you're a assistant manager and now you want to be a manager you are um, an assistant to somebody of a higher power and now you eventually want to be that higher power or a partner or whatever it is you're and we could all be better at something we could all do more we you know you you you're you you get better sleep at night and then this way you can function more you're exhausted throughout the day and maybe you do want to advance in a position but you don't have the time to study because you're so exhausted overall food will make you better in everything and so will combining resistance training and cardio but the whole literally the whole point of this is to just educate those people out there that are getting luncheons if you know you have a luncheon and you know your staff maybe none of your business managers and no owners are are listening are getting the opportunity to listen to this video so pre-pack you bring your own lunch you do not have to eat what they eat I mean you're talking to somebody who has I got sick 12 years ago, but I was, I worked for the Penny Saver, which is a little um, magazine with coupons and stuff like that in New York. I worked for that company. I owned restaurants. Um, I've worked for a bunch of different, worked at clothing stores, and they've done things like this. And I would always, I mean, I, I always kind of was healthier, and I always would bring my own lunch or bring my own food because... You do not have to do what anybody tells you to do. You don't have to eat a catered lunch. Your boss is not telling you you're going to get fired if you don't eat a slice of pizza. So that being said, choose healthy. Forward this email on to your manager and let them watch this um, and say, hey, you want me to be better at my job? Then feed me a little bit better when you do have these things that are supposed to make me better at my position. So do feed both ends, um, my brain and everything inside so that my brain can work better. All right, now I've officially babbled, which you guys should know by now. It, it's like a given with me. So um, have a great day and let me know what you think of this. Okay.